Hello, this is Mrs. Brown, and today we're going to talk about methods for the solving systems and when to use each one. So now you've learned three different methods, graphing, substitution, elimination. Which one do you pick when you get to choose whichever one you want to do? Um, and what are the situations that it would make sense to do that? So let's take a look. Uh, the first method, graphing. What I will tell you is the answer of when you should use graphing is almost never. Um, it's really helpful when you're learning about systems because it helps you to understand what the answers actually mean, that it's a physical point on the graph, or in the case of infinitely many, that it's infinitely many solutions, that it's the same line. It gives you a really good understanding of what a system is and what it should mean. But when you're actually solving, unless you're using a bit of technology, um, it's not always super useful because it has to come out really to integer um, answers, the coordinates, something like one comma two in order to for you to be able to read it. Because if it's fractional, then, you know, it's really hard to tell where two thirds is or 7.49 or whatever it is. Um, so it's not as useful as the other two methods, but it is super important for your overall understanding of systems. So when we're talking about it, graphing is really helpful, but only really, um, kind of in the beginning and mostly when you're looking at when you have an actual integer answers, but since you haven't solved it yet, you don't know. Um, it's also a good way to check your answers um, to do that. But if you're using technology and you can read points off um, the, the graph, then it's really super useful for other times too. But in general, we're going to use substitution or elimination. Um, I would say that I would use substitution. You could always use either, but you're going to pick the one that makes the most sense for the problem. So for substitution, if one of your equations is already solved for a variable, substitution's real easy because you don't have to do anything except plug that equivalent expression in for that variable in the other one and, and go from there. Or it's really easy to solve for that variable. Um, so either of those cases, I would say substitution. Elimination, when you have your equations and they're set up exactly the same way, so let's say you have two equations in standard form, they're kind of all lined up, the x's is lined up with the x, and the y is lined up with the y, and the constant is lined up with the constant. Um, elimination tends to be pretty easy method to use. So let's just look at a few examples and what I would choose and why I would choose that particular method, okay? So on this first example, I have two equations in slope intercept form because it's y equals mx plus b. So I've got the slope is three on both of them. This is a, one of the rare cases where I would say graphing. And the reason I would say graphing is they have an identical slope. Well, what do identical slopes mean? They mean they're parallel lines if the intercepts are not the same. If the intercepts were the same, they'd be the same line. So I already can tell you that this has no solution because these are two parallel lines. So that graphing it and seeing that visual, that would be pretty easy because I kind of understand the parts of an equation. Um, and so I would just kind of go with graphing because I don't actually have to use substitution or elimination to, to tell that. All right, so if I look at this example, this is in slope intercept form, it's actually a direct variation. So y equals two x, remember the y intercept would be zero, the plus zero. Um, and this one's in standard form. There are two different ways, but this is already solved for y, which means I'd easily be able to substitute it in and eliminate one of my variables. And so this would be a good substitution. Okay. Otherwise, the y and the x's aren't lined up. I'd have to move one to one side. It would be a, a longer process to use elimination. Could I use elimination? Sure, but it's just much easier to use substitution. So this one would make sense for substitution. Um, if I look at this example, notice they're both in standard form. I've got the x's lined up, I've got the y's lined up, and the constants lined up on the other side of the equal sign. This is the perfect method to use elimination. Now, as is, I can't actually add these together because nothing's going to cancel. So I would have to multiply through, in this case, by both of them, 
for instance, since this is a minus and this is a plus, I could multiply 3 by positive 4 and positive 3, and then I would get negative 12y and positive 12y, and then I could use elimination pretty easily. So I'm going to have to change those equations in order to be able to use elimination, but it's still probably less work than using substitution because then I'd have to solve. So maybe, you know, I'm subtracting 2y from both sides and then dividing everything by negative 3, and since... 2 is not divisible by 3, I'm going to get fractions, and it's probably much easier just to use elimination for this method, okay? So if I look at this one, uh, they're both in standard form, so everything's kind of lined up, but again, I'm going to have to change one of the equations. So elimination would work. Um, I could just multiply this one by 5, for instance, and then I get 5y and minus 5y. These would cancel. But it's also really easy to use substitution for this one because I could easily solve for a variable by just subtracting y from both sides because the coefficients are 1. So that would be like one step. So in both substitution and elimination, I have to do one small thing before I can use it. So I would say that either method, whichever one you're more comfortable with, would make sense for this particular problem. Okay, so again... Most of the time, you're not going to choose graphing because overall, graphing really helps you to understand what systems are and what their answers mean, but not super useful because you have to hope that the answer is going to be an integer. Um, but again, sometimes that does help with your comfort level to kind of see the equation. So maybe you graph it, maybe it comes out, maybe it doesn't. Um, but that's certainly a good method, um, but not necessarily when I'm just solving problems. Uh, when I have something that's already solved for a variable, it's much easier just to go ahead and use substitution, especially when things are not lined up, like the x and y are not on the same side of the equal sign. So to use elimination, I'd have to do a lot more work. Um, I could do it, but I'm going to pick the simplest way to, to, to take care of it. Uh, elimination for this one, just because everything's all lined up and they're not really set up for substitution, I'd have to do quite a bit of work for substitution. I still have to do quite a bit for elimination too um, in order to get them set up, but overall this is probably easier to use elimination for this particular one. And then for this one, you really could use substitution or elimination. Um, you're going to have to do something for to set both of them up because it doesn't quite work for either of them. Um, for elimination, you'd have to multiply through by a number. For substitution, you'd have to solve for one of the variables. Um, so this would really be either that would work. Okay, I hope this helps and have a fabulous day.